Hello guys, it's me again, Kid Switch. So today, before season 18 ends, I'm going to show you guys player versus environment builds for the wizard class. So this is by Aerith, and she is from our server in the Inferno clan, and only has 2,500 resonance, but can play better than most of the whales. So she has been playing mainly wizard since day one. So let's start. Before I start with the builds for the Paragon tree, I went first to the specific tree depending on the mode, getting the required skills. For example, Treasure Hunter, Greed, Treasure Find, and Lucky. After I'm finished with this one, I went to every other tree to maximize every damage node first, and then armor penetration, and then potency, and then armor, and then resistance. And life is the least priority. So for player versus environment, life doesn't matter anymore. Let's start with the open world farming. She is also using this in the PvE tower battle, not in the PvP. For the skills, Electrocute, Lightning Nova, Arcane Torrent, Ice Armor, and Teleport. For the Paragon, Treasure Hunter. For the green set, she is using 4 pieces Grace of the Flagellant and 2 pieces Isatar. I only have this one because this is only what I have. <laughs> For the legendary gears, crushing weight, Elora's fervor, the perfect situation, noble castigation, reef carver, heart of the storm, all rustic, and the siphon. This is her second build. Her main build is this one. I do not have the shoulders and the second offhand weapon, but. According to her, this is better and has more damage. For dungeons and raids, so she has the same build for this mode, but I just separated the two because in dungeon, I use treasure hunter and in raid, I use weaver. For the skills, magic missile, lightning nova, arcane torrent, disintegrate, and teleport. For the green set, she is using four pieces grace and two pieces vitus. For the legendary gears, crushing weight, rampant, and inscrutable. <laughs> Pernicious assistant, noble castigation, reef carver, stickle burr, all rustic, and blaster cast. This is her alternate builds for dungeons and raids. And for the second one, just pause this video. If you want to check this out again for the raid the same with the dungeon but just using weaver for defense of sairangar this is my build <laughs> my old build for the skills magic missile ice crystal disintegrate ray of frost teleport for the paragon i'm using survivor for the grid set it's better to use four pieces grace again and two pieces vitus for the legendary gears, Shivers and Stair, Waking Invocation, Searing Judgment, Crystal Guards, Entropic Edge, Stickle Burr, First of Harakas, and First of Harakas and Blaster Cast. For Challenge Reef, Magic Missile, Lightning Nova, Scorch, Arcane Wind, and Arcane Torrent. For the Paragon, Weaver. For the green set, she is using four pieces grace again. So I guess mainly use 4 pieces grace and 2 pieces depending on the mode. For challenge reef, 4 pieces grace and 2 pieces banquet of ice. Forgot the name. For the legendary gears, vision of the frozen path, Elora's fervor, phoenix mantle, the medley, reef carver, and repentant gale, all rustic, and alder crystal. This is her alternate build for Challenge Reef. For the rotation of these builds, it's pretty straightforward. Just use any skill that is not in cooldown. But for Challenge Reef, I will show you guys a gameplay. Okay, so this is only 395. My current level is on 400 already. But it's very hard to clear that one. It will take at least the max. <laughs> In 10 minutes, a lot of meat here. 
let's get everybody but they got frozen so this build has a lot of CC because of this and even build but no teleport bro so just be careful I almost died then normal attack push them back arcing torrent it has a lot of DPS and CC and especially if you have 4 pieces grace this will be OP and you can kill a lot faster than me charge the green game I forgot the name <laughs> I turn steel so it will be stronger yes it always is torrent of course this one Nice combo. I'll hit boss immediately. Again, for the green set, it's better to use 4 pieces grace and 2 pieces banquet of ice. And I guess on my build, I should use shalbaa since I do not have any teleport. So that's it guys. Again, thank you for Erit for sharing her builds. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to comment that down below. Thank you for watching. Until next time.